finally, my personally selected CEO arrives. I hope you had a great trip and all that blah, 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 blah. Now, let's build some great casinos together and relieve visitors of their money. Uh, let people have a good time. Ah, there you are. I was wondering where you've been. I got a job for you. Help me manage my newly built casinos to drain some rich kids of their daddy's money and give it to those who really need it. My wallet is starving, so get to work. I know this is familiar, but let's go through the controls anyway. Move the camera using WASD or by holding the right mouse button. You know the music. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in on every beautiful detail of your casino. I've put some intel on potential guests to the bottom right of your screen. Right now, we have no guests, so the bottom right shows what is needed to lure the first ones in. Using the build menu on the bottom left should come easy enough to you. Let's build everything we need so we can attract our first gambler type. Not bad! Your casino now has everything to make this gambler type happy. In fact, their VIP just entered. Remember, each new gambler type has a VIP who arrives first. Keep an eye on them to find out how to drain and <clears throat> optimize their experience in the casino. Unpause the game in the top right corner of your screen to see how our esteemed guests flock to your casino. <laughs> Close the build menu and select one of the gamblers to see how they like it here. Bonjour. I feel it! The next game will be my great win! The little marker line at the bottom of the satisfaction bar marks a satisfaction threshold. When the satisfaction falls below this satisfaction threshold, the gambler will leave the casino. Your goal, of course, is to make sure that each gambler's satisfaction stays above the satisfaction threshold. Uh-oh, that's not good. This gambler is not enjoying their time as much as they should. We need to raise their satisfaction so they'll bring more of their friends into our casino. Let's use the oldest trick in the book, as seen in any supermarket you've ever visited. Fancy decorations and sublime music. Each gambler type has their own taste in music. We'll just have to experiment to find out what they like. Go to the build menu and place decorations and music speakers in a way so they affect as many visitors as possible.
Voilà, one drink for me and another. Just one more game on this slot machine. Well done. Ha! I see happy gamblers. I am a happy investor. Now, here's the plan. Make sure each gambler spends all their money quickly so they leave with a high satisfaction. That is when they tell all their friends about our casino. <laughs> when gamblers leave with a high satisfaction, the popularity for that gambler type increases. A higher popularity means that more gamblers of this type will pay us. <laughs> pay us a visit, of course. But I don't want to wait. Let's give those gamblers a motivational spank. Go to the top right corner and speed up time until our popularity increases. Watch and learn. Ah, you might want to build some more slot machines, bars and such to handle all the new gamblers that will come and visit when our popularity rises. Otherwise, they won't find a free spot, get cranky, and we don't get to pull money out of their pockets. Need to catch my flight to Moscow. I'll be back though. Goodbye. Fantastic! Look at the herd of gamblers we gathered, carrying so much hay. 
Let me show you some more tricks of the trade for maxing out our popularity with this gambler type. Each gambler type prefers different objects over others. According to my market research, the gamblers currently in our casino like the three-screen slot machine best. Replace the current slot machines with the three-screen slot machine and make them even happier. Once you know a gambler type's preferred objects, make sure they only ever use that machine and watch our popularity ha, and profit go through the roof. Well, it looks like you've got everything you need to fulfill your casino goals. Go ahead and complete them on your own. When you're finished, meet me in the next casino. I'll be off to a client meeting, yes. My bespoke cigars business is still booming, but none of you are concerned. I cannot stop playing, I love it! Just one more game on this slot machine! Oh la la, I feel the need to dance to this tune. Great music in this casino.
I cannot stop playing. I love it. Enough play for today. Back to my millionaire business. Uh, bye. Palpitante, another casino to explore. Hello. to the Calypso, a rundown estate which we, meaning you, will turn into the money-making machine. You know what to do. Build the right objects to get gamblers into the casino. The problem is, they want to see objects you are not able to build yet. I hate what we need to do next, since it will cost us some of our hard-earned money. But. It's all about the ROI, right? Click the research button on the left edge to unlock the required objects. Easy enough. You pay the money, I'll uh, acquire the objects. Just be aware, it won't always be this cheap. Lucky for us, Research in the Calypso is cheaper than in other casinos. I'm not sure why. Maybe the researchers weren't that good at negotiating their rates? Nah, don't worry about the why. Important thing is, 
that each casino is different, and you need to adapt to its benefits and drawbacks. Now, after you got the research, we have everything the first gambler type expects. Ready for construction. We're targeting quite a posh audience. Their VIP comes with some serious 60s vibes. Remember to consult the bottom right of your screen to unlock them. Quick now, time's a-wasting.
Perfect. Assure they are happy at all times, so they don't think twice before spending their money. What am I saying? Don't even give them the time to think once. A good approach is to try and find their preferred items right away. This time, my market researcher couldn't provide me the info we need, so it's up to you to find out what they like. Also, I fired my market researcher. And don't forget to research more objects to build. We may not have access to their preferred objects yet. Hello, a new casino in town. Oh, behave.
Excellent. Time we lure in even more gamblers. More gamblers mean more money, so let's go ahead. Unlock the next gambler type. My new market researcher tells me that the posh gamblers currently in our casino may not like the new gambler type we're trying to get in here. Be smart about your casino layout. A good approach is to separate those two gambler types as much as possible, so they can never bother each other. However, separation would be easier if we would have more space. Buy a new lot and expand our casino. To buy a lot, enter build mode and click one of the lot signposts which mark the area directly outside your casino walls. The world needs a bit of saving. Don't stop the party until I'm back.
I'm back and the game is on. Rock and roll, baby, yeah. Losing to Mr. Powders, how does that feel, baby? Sexy environment. Here's my room number, baby, yeah.
A little sip can't hurt. Get in my belly, you adorable snack. Yeah, baby, yeah! The beat's getting right under my skin. Ah, more space for even more gamblers. Do you hear that? It must be my, um, our wallet cheering with joy, since bigger casinos also mean more customers. Now we are ready to unlock a second gambler type, since we have the space to separate them. I bribed, uh, convinced some more people to just give us some new tech. We'll have access to new objects for attracting the new gambler type. You can thank me later. Build them in the new lot, so they are far away and won't mess up the 60s vibes of our posh regulars.